America, the United States of America, bears an astounding resemblance to the Roman Empire. How so? If you look at the very design of the U.S. Capitol building, where you've got the House of, of Representatives and you've got the Senate, that building bears an astounding resemblance to St. Peter's Basilica. All right? Now, that's not where it ends. I've done a video before in time past, and I've showed you the historical documents that actually reveals an astounding connection between America and Rome in a spiritual sense. But also, historically wise, America itself, the name America, the, the, main, the name of the United States of America, it was never named after Amerigo. No. America it was is derived from the word Amaruka. Amaruka. Amaru. All right. Amaruka, it simply means land of the feathered serpent or land of the flying serpent. That's what Am Amaruka means. Or Amaruka, as they would pronounce it. Either they would pronounce it Amaruka or Amaruka. Right? Now, here's the thing. When you look at that, you begin to ask the question, wait a second. America derived its name from Amaruka, which literally translates to land of the feathered serpent. But then you go to look at St. Peter's Basilica, which is the Vatican. Let me show you the connection between the word Basilica, the origins of Basilica, to being actually linked to the crowned serpent or the crowned great dragon. The king of serpents, the very home of the king of serpents is in Rome. Now, before I go any further, friends, this channel has been receiving so much blockade and so much shadow banning on YouTube. So I have a second channel which I've opened called Controversy 7 Ministry. The link is in the video description box and also pinned at the comment section. Make sure you go to subscribe to my second channel, the one that I'm using on a weekly basis. I have videos there that I'm pumping out uh, every week so that I can use to then, you know, get the conversation going on that channel there because that channel does not have any, uh, any type of, uh, you know, restrictions. So go subscribe to that channel. Furthermore, you can, uh, you can also find me on TikTok. My link is in the description box and also pinned at the comment section. Um, go and follow me on TikTok. My, my name on TikTok is the controversy 777. Some joker from one of those Asian, Asian countries. He opened a TikTok account using my name, my YouTube name. And then he, he doesn't even speak English. Don't subscribe to that, but rather subscribe to the link that follow the link that I sent that I provide in the description box. All right. I upload videos there as well. So make sure you follow me there so we can be able to continue sharing the truth. That being said, let's carry on. Now, let me show you historically the connection. I'm going to show you this real quick before I get to the main big to the main thing that I want you to pay attention to. And it has to do with the White House. The White House and St. Peter's Basilica also bear the mark of the serpent. Brothers and sisters, I'm telling you right now. Watch this. The word basilica is associated with royalty. Transliterates all the way back to Basil Basilius, which means king. And then Basilis, ba Basilicos translates to royal. Now here's the thing. There is also, when you look at the word basilic or basilicas, basiliscos, that literally means a serpent, a crown serpent. In other words, this is the king of all serpents. Now, here's the thing. America's president lives in the White House. The White House 
is the head office of the nation. In the head office of the nation where the president makes decisions, where the president signs bills into law, where the president sends a message to the to the to the to the nation and to the whole world, that office, that head office of America in the, inside the White House is also known as the Oval Office. It's called the White House and it has the this is the White House is basically where the throne of power of the United States is. And of all the names that they can call this thing, they call it the Oval Office. Why do you think that is that they call it the Oval Office? I find it very interesting that even if you look at St. Peter's Basilica, right outside in, 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 the, in, the, in the public where they have the, the monument of the obelisk, you can see clearly that there is, a, there is an astounding resemblance that reveals an oval shaped design at St. Peter's Basilica. Wait a second. St. Peter's Basilica, you can clearly see an oval, an, 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 an oval design. And then you look at America's head office inside the White House. And that is called, that office is called the Oval Office. Why? Listen. Remember, the two bear, the, bear an astounding resemblance. Even historically, America is walking in the same footsteps as ancient Rome. Why do I mention Oval Office and, I'm, and why am I pointing to you the ovals? Remember that I mentioned to you that the two are connected to serpents. Hint, hint. They are both connected to serpents. America, Am America received its name from Amaruka or Amaruka, which means land of the flying serpent. If you look at St. Peter's Basilica, that literally mean, it, it literally means the, it, it literally means king of serpents. What is the connection between these two? The connection between these two is the oval. Why oval? Guess what? A snake's egg is not round. A snake's egg is oval. In other words, this is where the birthing, this is where the, the, the main central, the main place where the serpent multiplies his ideas. This is where the seed of the serpent rules. The seed of the serpent is in the White House. The seed of the serpent is in the White House. The seed of the serpent is in the White House. The Oval Office. The egg of the serpent. And if you look at Rome, that is where the very throne of power of the of of the of the serpent is. America is uniting herself with Rome. America will unite with Rome. One way or another, America shall unite with Rome. They will meet and they will shake hands together. They will unite. Why? Because they are both they're both connected to the same spirit, the same serpent. Now here's the thing. You clearly can see the same footsteps that Rome took, America is also taking. Rome was united, America was called United States. Then Rome divided, America is also dividing. Rome then morphed and, and shape shifted towards another. It's almost like pagan Rome was was when when the pagan Roman Empire was was collapsing and it was dividing the the serpent was was peeling was uh kind of like uh you know rubbing rubbing you know you know when a snake has old skin and it begins to kind of you know remove its old skin so now this serpent began to remove the old skin and the old skin began to fall off come out from it and then the serpent would then go and it would become a new glorified serpent much more beautiful well guess what that is what Ro literally happened to rome a pagan rome they went through their phases of trying to kill god's people but then after that they realized that wait a second we tried burning the bibles and they still kept rising 
the more we killed them the more we afflicted them the more that they rose up in numbers so well if we can't beat them join them and so by 476 AD the Roman Empire was divided right now it did the division did not happen all in one night no it took gradual but prior to the full division in in 321 AD Emperor Constantine the Great he united the Bishop of Rome he, he united the the, the 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 bishops of the church of the of the church to come together and to unite with the the same oppressing power persecute the, the same persecuting power he united them with the church and when the church united with Rome defilement happened you see what I'm saying they were defiled they became polluted and then what happened they became converted to pagans and so Rome was shedding its skin the serpent was shedding its skin eventually he would then become a glorified serpent how by uniting himself with the church and so what we're about to see all over again now we're seeing see the old must go and the new one must come they're talking about a new world order what they're simply talking about is shedding the old skin let's shed the old serpent skin and let's 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 reveal the new the, the the new brand new skin underneath but guess what it's still the same serpent it's the same serpent it never changed the same persecuting power is still the same today rome never changes america surely the reason why america is changing it wants to go back to exactly where it came from the oval office the seed of the serpent that's where and by seed i'm talking this is where the the this is the the main mind of the serpent that's where it takes place now i want you to think about this carefully since the oval office is designed with references to the serpent and even to the serpent's seed what does that tell you about those who are seated in the throne of power and are seated in the Oval Office of the United States of America. What does that tell you about the presidents which come and they, they are seated in the throne of power? Who do they belong to? Who do their allegiance belong to? Brothers and sisters, I'm telling you right now, do not fall for the trickery of the enemy. Do not put your trust in men. Do not put your trust in Biden or Trump or anyone put your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Now this last thing that I'm going to say is very important. My friends, brothers and sisters, there are two souls of which I'm going to show you in the next video which I'll upload and you will see that there are two souls which if we do not go to their aid, death lieth at the door. I do not want the Most High God to ask me at the end saying, hey, my son, such and such person was dying and they needed your urgent help. Why did you not do your part to use whatever influence you had to rescue that dying soul? I'm going to publish more of this video that you may all be able to see with your own eyes and hear with your own ears in the next video that I'm going to be releasing. That way then you can see exactly what we're dealing with. And this is a matter of life and death. This is a matter of life and death. Once again, this is a matter of life and death. And we're trying to save a life. Saving a life, saving a soul, is more precious than saving inanimate objects and things which are materialistic. If you would like to help this ministry to carry the work of saving souls and to help us rescue those who are dying and those who are perishing, you can go to the official website of the ministry which is www.thecontroversy7.ca The link to the website will also be pinned in the comment section and it will also be pinned at the video description box. Upon clicking that link, you will be redirected to the official website of the Controversy 7 ministry. Then you will be able to then hit at the very top left hand corner, you'll see a donate button. And if you're using mobile, you'll just see the donate button right in the center of the screen at the very top. When you click the donate button, a pop-up window will appear that says make a donation and it will require for you to put the amount you are impressed to donate. When you put the amount, 
Then you click on the button that says donate with PayPal, after which a new window will be opened and that new window will give you the option of either logging in to PayPal and donating with PayPal or option number two, you can use any credit card of your choice by simply clicking on where it says pay with debit or credit. So you can use any, any debit card or you can use any credit card. This is a worldwide method. Furthermore, there are other methods which also are available. For those who are in Canada, you might be familiar with e-transfer. Here's the email for the e-transfer. For those who are in America, you may be familiar with Zelle or with Cash App, to which here are the informations. Because this is an urgent matter, I did not, I don't really have the time to be able to put the editing and all those kind of things. That takes time, but I thought I would be able to bring this out to all of you. Whatever support that we can be able to get, um, to be able to help carry out this mission and to go and save those souls it is greatly appreciated. Other than that, I want to give you all thanks for tuning in and for joining me. May the Most High God bless all of you. You take good care of yourselves. Be blessed. Be safe. Subscribe to the other channel and make sure you turn on all bell notifications and have a blessed day and I'll see you next time.